Hello and welcome to this video. You guess it, it's about Sony's new UXP 41D receiver. I will explain one of the new great features in detail and show you some new adapter plates for working together with a field recorder. See you after the intro. Let's start with the great new features in the UXP 41D named All Band Scan. To explain this feature, I have to explain you the standard frequency setup. Under normal circumstances, you need to find a distortion and intermodulation-free transmission frequency. The UWPD series receivers from generation 3 and 4 can do this by starting a scan. In generation 3 of the UWPD series, you need to step into the menu until you came to the auto setup function and start it. For example, the UXP 3 d K21 covers a frequency band block from TV channel 21 to TV channel 29. 470 to 442 megahertz. This 72 megahertz bandwidth is split into three frequency bands by 24 megahertz each. The generation three of the receiver can scan only for one channel and in one of the three frequency bands at a time. And here is where the new all band scan function steps in. Let me show you how it works with the UXP 41D. First step is to activate the function. Press menu to come to the main page, press minus until you see scan type, press the set button until the scan type blinks, press minus to select all band, press set to store your selection. Now you are ready to go. Wherever you are in the menu of the receiver, if you press NFC sync for more than three seconds, the P41D starts a scan for free available channels over all frequency bands. The spectrum analyzer scans the entire 72 MHz bandwidth. After the scan, you can select which pair of frequencies for channel 1 and channel 2 you like to use. Press set to select the given frequency and press set again to start the sync process by NFC or infrared. If you like to jump to the next pair uh, the analyzer has found in, the, in another frequency band, press set and then plus to select another band by pressing now set again two times the sync process starts. Or you use the another band function again and so on and so on. The frequencies are sorted by the noise level from low to high. Note about the display information. If you wait for a second, the display swaps between group channel noise and the frequency. The all band scan function is a fantastic way to set up your system in under one minute wherever you are. In all my tests, the receiver founds two free available channels per frequency band, so you have always a choice to get to the right channel. The next thing I would like to show you are the three new adapters to connect the receivers of the UWD series with a mixer mechanic. The mixers are the Mix Pre series from Sound Device and the F8 from Zoom. The idea behind is to have a setup which not too expensive but gives the user an easy way of working with a mixer radio mic combination. At the moment, three plates are available from Mix Pre 3, Mix Pre 6, and the Zoom F8 or F8N. And here's one of the adapter plates HL Audio, our VID in Berlin has developed. This is the Mix Pre 4 plate. You use the mounting point on the Mix Pre with uh, the attached Allen key, and you can fix the plate with another M3 uh, screw from the top if needed. It can handle up to two receivers with two channels each, so four channels overall. That's why the name is Mix Pre 4 plate. The plate can be mounted on the Mix Pre 3 and Mix Pre 6. Whereas the cable Sony delivers with every receiver, you can connect the receiver to the Mix Pre. On top, you can use the DC DC adapter from Sound Device and HL Audio to power all components for one source via a four pin high bus connector. Ready to go in one minute. For the Mix Pre 10, a six channel version is under development. For the Zoom F8, F8N and F8N Pro, the plate is a little bit different to mount by the four screws on top of the mixer. But the mechanism to hold the receivers is the same. Here we have also a version for three receivers with up to six channels. Maybe you need two minutes to set it up. In any way, the result is always a small and easy to handle system, which works as one package. And this is what I have for you today, and as always, Give me a thumb up. If you like the video, give me a thumbs down. If you don't like the video, that's okay. Write in the comment field all your questions and what you like to see in the next videos. Share the videos and please subscribe to the channel. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.